In this video I'm going to show you how I use my iPad to input notation into Sibelius. I use the Actions app and you need to install the Actions server on your computer. It's Mac or Windows. Once it's run it'll go in your taskbar. Then you open the Actions app on your iPad. Make sure you're on the same network and it will connect immediately. It's a custom keypad interface and let me get this resized and out of the way and we'll jump right in. And Sibelius, I'll open up a new instrument. I'll make a trumpet. And you can see when I push the push the buttons on the little iPad screen down here, it will change the keypad on the right side of Sibelius. Now you're going to see a little lag in the reflections display in the bottom left. So it actually looks like Sibelius is anticipating when I touch the screen, but that's just a little network lag. It works just like a normal keypad would. I can add a articulations, uh, change the note values, all that sort of stuff is still there. I added a little button in the bottom right of my grid to change the keypad, uh, I guess, setup. So I can move over and put in fermatas and do all the other nifty things we need to do from time to time. And then I have a second screen of buttons, which I can't always remember the keyboard shortcut to, you know, like uh, adding measures and flipping and re-input the pitches and triplets. And so it kind of helps speed things along by being able to flip back and forth and have the app remember the keyboard shortcuts and because my brain doesn't seem to remember them all the time. We'll insert our triplet and then we'll re-input the pitches. That's one I use quite a lot. Uh, doing second and third trumpet parts over over a jazz score you can most of the time cut paste re-input the pitches and, and you're done in just a couple minutes and so that's the actions app for iPad and how I use it for Sibelius uh, you can get a look at how the setup of the keys are it took me some time to get the whole thing worked out and set up but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on how I use this, how I set it up, please feel free to leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.